Uh, so Migration is an arts organisation that's based in Wales, more particularly in North Wales. And uh, we work, now we work mainly through in, the, in the public space through the medium of a contemporary dance performance and interactive installations. The starting point in everything I, I, I present, it's, it's a way, it's an act about sharing, sharing something that has really moved me or I found really meaningful or thought-provoking with an audience, but an audience in the really large uh, sense of it. It's, um, and working in the public space really enables me to reach people that I would never reach otherwise because if I kept it inside walls they would never come and see it and never realize it's actually f they can actually engage with with it but it's also in the um, in the sense of uh, offering a, a, a view or a different perspective to people on, on different matters because every show is so completely different depending on the where you live or where you're seeing it and being in a rural place it can be very easy to feel you're very sheltered uh, in places like this because it's very easy to become disengaged with politics because you might see things on the news but they never touch you directly they don't come to you at the moment we obviously everyone sees the problems of the refugees on television in the newspapers hearing about the, uh, this problem on the radio but when you are in north wales on, on isolated places like that it doesn't come to you so it's, it still remains ab abstract and it's still very easy just not to turn a blind eye on things. So that's just one example, but there's so many, so many other issues I could talk about, about climate change, about fracking, which is a really big thing in the, in the UK and that politicians are trying to, to, uh, to push very much. And it's quite, and I find I'm extremely worried about it, but it's not something people fe feel necessarily concerned where I am because it, it's not coming close to them so that that's fine I'll be fine so for me it's actually really important to to know to tell people you have to engage with those things it's actually much closer to you than it is and you you have a responsibility <laughs> as well towards the rest of the world you know because your action actually have an impact countries over there we they are the victim of your action as a consumer you don't get the consequences now but they do so that it's so yeah for me it's really important to maintain for people to be critical and to question and to keep informed so by bringing by bring by bringing art in that way to people and forcing them to look at things in a different way and to question themselves of what they do or how they look at the world i think is very important and sometimes to just show them well you have power and you have a say come on you you are in one one of the most privileged country in the world you've got freedom you are in democracy make sure you understand what that means and use that right that's super important to me and people often are dismissive of that or when i when i can see that people don't go and vote that drives me mad i live in the uk i'm not allowed to vote for the general election because i'm not british citizen and just for that i will ask for my nationality so i can vote <laughs> so i can have my say and actually go against some of the big decisions because this is where I, I have this responsibility and uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's fundamental, mm -hmm. really fundamental. Mm -hmm. I've seen the, the sector transformed a lot since I've started migration. A lot of things have changed and I, I really sincerely believe, and that's been told to me as well by the funders, it is a, the, an impact of that, of the work we've done, the kind of thinking and, and sort of the brave approach, I suppose, that we've had in thinking, no, forget all these preconceived ideas, we will make it, we will make it work, we'll prove you that it, you can find audiences that can respond to this work, even in the middle of nowhere. So, yeah.